Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be creating a set using my JC Beauty Concepts acrylic. So I've got um, bright white, clear, misty glitter and cameo. I really like cameo, it's really pretty. I found some hamper shred, it's called, in Poundland yesterday. It's like these strands of iridescent twisted film. They're quite, I thought they'd look really nice in a nail anyway, in a nail set. Little did I know they were going to be fiddly as f uh, fudge. <laughs> I'm also going to be using Nail Sugar's Snow Globe. This is one of their glitters from the Candyland collection. Nearly came out all wrong then. So to start with, on the middle finger, I decided to do an ombre. I, I was rushing this yesterday because I was I was aware that I hadn't got a video up Friday because of this little little emergency that we had and um, I thought I it like yesterday I can't oh, we, we went to the town yesterday to get a few more Christmas bits done and um, by the time I got home I was I was like conscious that I hadn't got this video up and I was like right I'm gonna have to just quickly do a set so I grabbed some acrylic grabbed some glitter uh, grabbed the shreddy stuff that I'd got from Poundland. <laughs> <clears throat> and I just sat down at my nail desk and just done whatever came to me and um, I still didn't get this uploaded yesterday <laughs> but I was in a rush to do it and I don't think uh, I don't think being in a rush suits me <laughs> look this this acrylic this cuticle bead was way too big and I just lost my ombre but the first bead blended beautifully but I had way too much product and I completely fluffed it up. Um, I do manage to salvage this nail. I think it's probably the right word. I've got five minutes piece, by the way. You probably won't hear any children in the background, fingers crossed, unless they get they finish really quickly. But well, as I, I don't know if I said, but we've been to Sainsbury's just now. We got that done and dusted early. Do you know what? It took us longer at the checkouts than what it did getting our bits around Sainsbury's. It was mad. But we've just driven home past the barbers and it was open. So Matt was like, stop the car. <laughs> I was like, what? So I stopped the car and they jumped out and they've gone to get their hair cut. So I'm just going to put a little bit of white at the bottom because I just felt like the blend was too far down the nail and there wasn't really enough white in the nail. So I just, and then I just left it like that. I just thought, you know, the more I mess with it, the more it's going to go wrong. So I just left it. Um, I didn't know what I was doing on this nail. Uh, I just went in with a bead of white. And while I was fiddling around with it, I was like, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? And it just sort of goes horribly wrong. <laughs> but eventually I decided that I was going to do a colour block nail. So I ended up sort of teasing the white into a kind of curved, curved line. Oh, it's just painful watching that. What am I doing? So I'm going to curve that bit round and then that's going to go down the side wall a bit. So I'm going to leave it like that. Not not leave it like that, but the white's going to be left like that. And then I'm going to go in with the misty glitter. And I'm going to put a line of this next to the white. I also didn't show, but I put this misty, gl misty glitter over the ombre nails just to give the nails a little bit of shimmer you'll see at the end it actually looks really nice so once I'd put this misty glitter acrylic on I thought I'd be a smart ass and stick the shred um, I'm gonna call it shred because I don't know what to call it uh, like the iridescent film stuff I'll call it shred I thought I'd stick it straight onto this clear acrylic with the with the glitter in and I managed to knock some of the acrylic out of the way. Like, I was putting that there and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. And then I'd done that and then, look, I've knocked it off the nail and it was just like, I was just like, okay, okay, just take that off, take that off. And in the end, I decided to put a little bit of clear acrylic onto the tip. And I, I cut three little strands. So I put the acrylic on first. I've cut three little strands and then I'm going to place those onto the acrylic and they're going to set into that acrylic. I don't know if it's because I put these on clear but they don't really show up very well. I felt like I needn't have bothered to be honest. <laughs> I wonder if they'll show up better on a coloured acrylic. 
I'll have I will try and use them again but I've pushed the sides down because the nail curves a bit and then I will I've put um, snow globe sorry at the free edge and then I will cap that whole nail and that'll be that because I'd had enough of it by then <laughs> For the index finger, I'm going in with Cameo. I'm just going to do a... It's going to be a Cameo. I'm just going to fade the colour down and the tip is going to be clear. Um, I do put another bead at the... What's that called? The cuticle end. And then I'm going to go in with some of the snow globe glitter from Nail Sugar. And I put this on the nail in a kind of S shape. So I kind of want to cover up where the acrylic fades off. So I'm going to... Oh, how pretty is that though? Oh, I just love it so much. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the misty glitter acrylic at the free edge. And then blend some of it up. And then that's that now. The pinky finger, I'm going to do an ombre again. So I do exactly the same as what I did for the middle finger. Like literally the, everything, right? So I put the, the white at the free edge and blend it up. And then I put my first, um, my first bead on to blend down the white. It's just, they do, look, they blend so flipping nicely. Oh, I just love it. And then I just put a... a a way too big a bead at the cuticle area and ruin it to be fair it was a smaller bead but it's a smaller nail so <laughs> oh god so i end up um i'm trying to save my blend again by adding i think i put some white on this time yeah and then just blend that up What a plonker. Um, the thumb, I really, really, really hate the thumb. I wish I'd done the... I'm doing colour blocking again. But I wish I'd done it at an angle like I had the ring finger. But instead I decided to do a straight line across. Which I wish I hadn't. Because it looks kind of silly. I needed white on another nail. Um, so I was like, okay, it's going to be the thumb. And... Um, Oh, I don't know, it just needed to be curved, but I think perhaps in the other direction. Anyway. I was going to put some more of this fiddly shite on the thumb. I really, really hate it now. I will use it again, but I really, really don't want to. Do you like my new stalk scissors? AliExpress they were. They were about £1.74. I love them. So I'm going to put some clear acrylic on again. I wish I'd put more strands on as well because you can't... They just get lost. They just they just got lost in the clear. I think they need to be on coloured acrylic. Maybe. Definitely need to experiment. So I've capped all the nails and I've filed them and buffed them. And this is what they look like. I am going to cover up the colour blocking a little bit with these crystals. They are AB crystals from Nail Sugar. They range from size SS3 to SS16. And because I can't get my Kiara Sky base open at the moment, I'm going to be using my Rossi base. I'm just going to take some alcohol and clean over the surface of the nails. I just didn't like my colour block nails at all. So I'm going to put crystals along the lines. You can't even see, look, you can hardly even see, I know I haven't top coated yet, but you can't hardly even see that iridescent shredded stuff. So there we go. That's that nail. Then I'm going to do the same along the, the line on this one. These are slightly smaller crystals, but I've still put that bigger one in the middle and then they taper off in size. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm going to take my Nail Come Eat Non-Wipe Top Coat to top coat the nails. Again, when you've got crystals, make sure you butt the brush up to the crystals, but not over. Otherwise, the sparkles will lose their, the sparkles. The crystals will lose their sparkle. I'd like a massive 
top coat fall off the brush then. Um, I need to get some new top coat, but I don't know whether to get them from Madame Glam or Nelkami. Oh, it's so difficult when you love two brands. I really love that Nelkami have got, they've got like really, I really love their like, I'm going to call them special effects polishes, like the cat's eyes and stuffs. But I really, really love Madame Glam's colours and they're both equally nice to work with. I literally don't, I don't know that I could pick a favourite. Oh, but they are like my two favourite gel polishes ever. I love that now, by the way. Um, so you can see here I've put that misty glitter acrylic over the, what do you call it, over the ombre. And it's given the nail a nice shimmer. Um, same applies with this one with the crystals, but the brush up too, but not over. If you want, you can use a detailer brush to get the top coat up to the crystals if it's if it's going to make life a bit easier. I was just too lazy and uh, couldn't be bothered. <laughs> and then the pinky. I think the pinky is probably actually my favourite nail. <laughs> And the and the the pinky and the pinky and the brain 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 no pinky and the <laughs> pinky and the index I think are my favourites. So there we go. I'm going to to uh, top coat them. I'm going to cure them for thirty seconds in my lamp, and then I'm going to top coat the backs of the nails that are clear. I don't know why I just wasn't impressed with the thumb. I'll show. I'll just. I'll just show you in a minute when I turn it around. You, you just, I don't feel like you can see through it very well and it's supposed, to, I don't know. Is it just me or am I being overly fussy? I don't know. So this is the index. <clears throat> this one I thought looked a lot better. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Hooray. I love that one. Look at that. So again, I wanted you to see my finger through it. I think you can see it. And then this is the ring finger. I didn't want to make the top coat too thick underneath, so I was trying to wipe off any excess. So get it. I don't know. It's not. It doesn't seem very clear if you see what I mean which is a shame anyway this is the finished set because I wasn't too keen on those the, the thumb and the ring finger I did paint a snowflake on them and this is what they look like in the end I actually prefer them like this but anyway I hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing I probably won't upload now until after boxing day so I will wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year but I'll see you before New Year so anyway yeah thank you for watching everyone have an amazing Christmas and I will see you in the next one